morning everyone as you can tell frick and frack we're at it again just saying they caused a lot of trouble last night and now we have pieces all over the place don't know what happened but they got hold of the saw and yeah it happened now we're left with a car that looks like this now, this is a section just a little bit farther than what I want, but this is what they had in mind. <laughs> okay, all kidding aside, took it to work the other day and uh, lopped off the body. Cut down all the, trimmed it down to marking, our markings and everything. Um, One thing I failed to realize, and as you'll know, that you're couple people have said in the past about me making mistakes you kind of know that I'm human after all well I am human but because I made some more mistakes <laughs> but it's all good um one thing nice working with resin plastic is when you cut stuff apart always save your cutouts your pieces that you cut out away from the body reason being is these Make nice filler panels for when you mess up, <laughs> as I'm finding out. It's been a while since I've done a second job, and when I cut the front, around the front wheelhouse, it came up short as far as my cut. Not much. But as you'll see there, there's some bigger gaps inside of the body, which are fillable. We'll just fill them in later. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit more wider gap here, so that means we're going to have to sand a little bit off the top of this to get the body to fit together. But when it's done, that should be about the height of the new body. It will work. We'll you know, get it taken care of. I'm going to sand this off just a little bit to get it to fit the body a little bit better. Be right back. All right. I take stuff to work a lot because well, I can do this at work and... With resin, you get a lot of, you can see it on here, you get a lot of fine dust that kicks off of it a little bit more than plastic. That's the reason why I say when you work with resin, wear a mask of some sort. Because you get a lot of this fine particle floating through the air, and it's not good to breathe it in. All I wear is just one of those little doctor, surgical type masks. It's enough to keep it out of your lungs. Um, sand it down. And that's where it is. Joe brought up a good idea. <clears throat> and you may find this better or easier for you. I had made mention that when I do the chops, I cut the top body off first. And then I trim this section off later after the fact. You can do it either way. When you're doing it, you gotta watch out because like right here, you're so thin on that material that that would, you know, if you're not supporting it, it will break. So you can trim it, trim it either before, you know, cut the top or the bottom line, either one you want first, whichever one you feel comfortable with. And then uh, cut it out from there. You can always trim the body off later and such. <clears throat> That's how much Right there is about how much we took out of the body. And then bringing it back together again. We're up to about there. Like I say, it just streamlines the body and thins it down so much. That's kind of why they did it back in the day. Now, <clears throat> putting these together. Now, when you're doing this... Um, this reveal where the fender is when you put this back together again you don't want to go lining that up see how it's lined up there you don't want to line your fender up and put it back together this way what that's going to do is it's going to throw off your wheelbase and it's going to move your wheelbase toward the back of the car reason being is lining it up off of that you can see where your door lines are. By lining it up by the rear fender, this section right here, 
it moves your door line back almost eighth of an inch. Get some more light on that. And by moving that door line back an eighth of an inch, you're also moving your wheelbase back an eighth of an inch. So you're going to offset your chassis. Your chassis is going to slide back an eighth of an inch. What I always do with a section job is I always line it up by the door jam, by the door lines. <clears throat> so we'll line it up by the door lines. It'll go back together on that. And then you're going to be left with this kind of a a step in your trim, your fender, which we can just take and either fill in the top half and make it come around, or we can sand the lower half and then just kind of blend it together. It may be easier just to build in the top half and bring it back in to match it up. Every time I put this back together and find somewhere else where it's not happy, you want to keep test fitting it until you can get them to fit flat together. What it's doing is it's hanging up back here in the back on me, it's hanging up a little bit on the front. I already sanded a little bit off the front, but it can probably go just a little bit more. Well, actually it's not too bad, but the back, Well, not too bad. I sand a little bit off. Now I got a little bit of a gap in the back right up in through here. I'm, I was thinking I can sand a little bit off here just to blend it in, smooth it out. Or I could just fill all that in with plastic layer. But you always want to test fit it. And make sure you're sitting somewhat level and make sure everything's happy. Because see right there with this this part right here coming in contact with the body. When I put it together, you can watch the this lower half flex like this when I put it together. See it kind of flex? I'd sand the top of this off and get that to fit a little bit more flush. Likewise with the front. <clears throat> this spot right here is hitting on the body, causing it to do the same. You want to, we'll just sand the, sand like off of here, sand this off of here, and that should bring everything in pretty good. And again, all I'm doing is just using a sander, sanding pad. I also have this little, just a piece of metal from work. Just put adhesive back sandpaper on it. This is 80 grit on one side and 120 on the other side. Same with this. That's 80 and that's 120. <clears throat> we just sand so everything it blocks out smooth. Like I say, when you're sanding something like this, you always want to support the piece that you're sanding. Because if you're holding back here and you're sanding that, you're going to flex it and you're going to snap it off. Most of you probably already know that, but just reiterating the fact. And take a little bit off here. Another reason why I take this, well, that's the biggest reason why I take this stuff to work. It's so messy. I don't like to sand this stuff up too much on the workbench, but. <laughs> All right. I me a little bit off top of here. I'm going to do that in my lab quick. All right, let's check that. That's a little bit better. I have a little gap to fill at the back, back here. And, of course, our front fender, where freaking frat got a hold of it and messed it all up on me. Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> a little bit more sanding on the nose here, a little bit on this area right here. I need just a little bit more in there, I think. One nice thing with resin, too, is as you're working with it, it's easy to work with, easy to fill. It's easier to sand than plastic more oftentimes. You get into some of the older resin, it's a little bit more harder, a little bit more cured. It's a little harder to sand, whatever, but... 
All right, that's that side. A lot of gaps to fill, but that'll all fill. We'll either fill it with super glue or we'll fill it with, like up in here, we'll cut these pieces out, like I said. We'll use these for fillers. Find whatever spot's going to fit the best, and then we'll use these for filler. Trim them down, cut them to fit, so on and so forth. And with that, we should have a body pretty much cleaned up as far as all the uh, trimming of all that stuff goes. Getting everything fitted in. Next video, we'll go over and we'll start putting this all back together again. Getting kind of long on video right now, so we're going to cut it short so I can get it uploaded today. And next video, we'll start throwing this thing together. Make it look like a nice, cool, slimline custom. Not sure what I'm going to do as far as grill yet. Might have to play around with that when I get to that point. See what the front end looks like <clears throat> when it comes back together again. And then kind of take it from there. Get an idea of it and maybe throw like a Merc style grill or something into it. Have to find a hood for it too. But we'll figure that one out when we get to that point. But for now, hope everyone has a good day. Um... Take care, everyone. Stay safe. All that fun, happy stuff. And we'll chat with you later. Take care. Have a good day. We'll see you on the corner. Bye -bye.